Okay, just to talk about the levels of consciousness and attitudes. So like an attitude, a general attitude I could have is to be fearful or to be guilty or to be shameful. Uh, a general attitude I could be is to be courageous or to be neutral or to be, um, to be loving, to be unconditionally loving. Uh, to be one with the infinite. So there's ver various attitudes. Uh, inf infinity or enlightenment is not really an attitude, it's free of attitudes, but anyway, never mind. So <clears throat> now each, each uh, level of consciousness has its, has its positives and its advantages and disadvantages. So for example, let's take love, which is a conditional love. Like I love some people, but other people I refuse to love. Like uh, you know, so that's the level of love overall. Like I love most people, but those type of people I don't love because they're not lovable. <laughs> so that would be the level of love. So that's quite a nice level. It's better than fear. There's a lot of love well, as long as you feel love, but there'll be blocks to love. You'll have like, like let's say you love 99% of the people you meet during the day. You'll feel love 99% of the day. And then the 1% where you meet that person that you don't love, you won't feel love. So um, that then opens up the doorways. Do you want to experience unconditional love? So the, the doorway to unconditional love is, of course, uh, has the gateway, you could say the dragon that defends it, of needing to forgive um, anyone who's, um, who, who you do not, I just, uh, hold on, I just, mute this person okay you just need to um need to be able to forgive the person you still find or the people you still find unforgivable and then you get you go to the attitude of unconditional love uh, which is much more enjoyable than uh, the attitude of um, conditional love and then you've got neutrality uh, and then you've got the attitude of um, <clears throat> you've got the lower level courage when you go from the non-integrous to courage i.e. when you go from victimhood, which are the levels below integrity, to integrity, you now have the courage to face things where you've been, say, where you've been holding on to victimhood, like victimhood of being a fearful or a self-pitying or an unforgiving or a judgmental character, uh, the courage to face those mechanisms and to release them to God. So that's the level of courage, which is a very powerful level that gets you out of non-integrity and victimhood then you've got the um, levels of non-integrity such as uh, holding on to fear and just being a fearful person because you don't resolve your fear or being in pride um, having the attitude of i'm better than others you know how oh look how superior i am look how much uh, i know and um, pride guilt well you know re you don't know how bad i am I'm so bad that if you found out, uh, you'd be disgusted. So um, don't don't try and get to know me because I'm full of guilt and I'm so full of so much shame. So those are attitudes, and, and until they're resolved, um, those become the underpinnings of your attitude to life. Some people feel guilty all all their life, or feel shameful, or feel prideful, or feel angry, and the spiritual attitudes of of um, courage, of um, uh, there's courage, uh, there's um, neutrality, there's love, there's unconditional love, there's enlightenment. Of course, and a major uh, non-integrous level is addiction or desire, uh, a, a level where, uh, which I was in for a lot of my life, where there, I can never get enough. I cannot get enough food to eat because it's not enough. I cannot get enough um, money and success and validation because there's not enough. You cannot get enough sex because there's not enough. So it's always this wanting more and more and more and nothing being enough because there's no spiritual connection to God. So that's the level of desire. Um, so those are the non-integrous attitudes uh, and the integrous attitudes. Uh, and to go to the next level up, you have to let be willing to find out the payoffs of what currently is holding you to shame or fear or guilt or pride. Uh, and then to be willing to see those and then to pray or release those attitudes. And also in the higher spiritual attitudes, like if you're in love or neutrality, what, what you need to release to go to the higher spiritual levels.
Okay, uh, so I'll 